right, what's going on everybody? This is Alvi from Techitron and today I am reviewing this. This is the Wallpad 10B and it is another budget tablet from Walton. Only this time it's 10 inches. So this video was requested by a couple people in the comment section below. So if you have any ideas for future videos, if there's anything you want to see us do, definitely leave those in the comments and I'll try to get to them the next time we make a video. So you know the drill by now, like this video if you liked it and subscribe because we've got a few interesting things coming up in these coming months. The Wallpad 10B is built just like the Wallpad G3. Uh, I'll drop the card over here somewhere. If you've seen that, you might get a better idea of the design. But anyways, as the design is quite similar, the main body is made mostly of metal and there are only two pieces of plastic on the top and bottom sides. I suspect the bottom side is there for better antenna reception. The top removable piece of plastic is actually hiding the dual SIM card slots as well as the micro SD card slot. And right next to all of those, you'll find the camera. On top of this, by the way, is where you'll find the 3.5mm headphone jack as well as the charging cable port. This port also supports USB OTG, so if you want, you can connect external peripherals to it and use it such as a, like, you know, like a laptop or a computer type setup with a keyboard and mouse thingy connected to it. The metal on the back has a matte finish, so there's no need to worry about catching fingerprints on the body. The buttons are on the top right hand side, and these are made completely of metal. As expected, these buttons are nice, responsive, and clicky, and so far they've served me quite well. Even though this tablet is so large, there's just one tiny speaker on the back of this complete tablet, and I find it really difficult to understand why there's just one one tiny speaker where you could have fit a couple more, really. And in my experience, I'd say that given the size of this tablet, the speaker could have been a lot louder. In fact, I had to most of the time cup my hand around the speaker to get better audio out of it, and that got tiring quite fast. The CPU is a quad-core 1.3 GHz MediaTek chip and it only comes with 1 GB of RAM. There's 16 GB of built-in storage which is expandable up to 64 gigs with that micro SD card slot and there's also a very large 6000 mAh battery. Now to test the battery life, what I did was a realistic video test. I was playing through YouTube videos with the brightness at maximum and the volume at maximum and it took around 6 hours for the charge to deplete from 92% to 21%. I'll drop the screenshot out of wherever, somewhere over here and you can take a look at that. And I think this is quite a lot of power out of this one device. So whatever you're using it for, I'm pretty sure it's going to last you throughout your duration period. And then again, because this is a tablet, you're not going to use it as often as you would a smartphone. So you don't really need to worry about the battery life as much. Because of the low amount of RAM, don't expect to get superb gaming or multitasking out of this. I mean, it can still play some games, but I think this tablet's main conception was that it's a media consuming device. And so its main purpose would be for you to use that massive display to enjoy videos or other form of content like such as browsing through the web. Let's talk about gaming though. I played my usual suite of games, GTA San Andreas, Modern Combat 5, Asphalt Extreme, and uh, Bloons Tower Defense 5, and overall the gaming experience was okay. I'd have to say that you will run into quite a bit of stuttering and frame skips when you're playing games like Asphalt Extreme and Modern Combat 5. Those things you'll definitely notice them, but surprisingly on GTA San Andreas there were very few frame skips. Maybe that's just my perception of the gameplay, but that's what it felt like. Now, because the screen is so large, it's really ideal for games like uh, Bloons Tower Defense 5, which is, as the name suggests, a uh, tower defense game. And all that real estate really comes in handy when you're trying to play a game like that. Another suggestion would be Monopoly or even Plants vs. Zombies. These games all look and feel very good on such a large display. As mentioned before, the screen is a large 10.1 inch IPS panel and supports up to 5 finger multi touch. The resolution of the screen is 1280 by 800 pixels, which means it's slightly higher than HD. The screen is obviously not that sharp because, well, big screen, HD resolution. But really, you won't notice it most of the time because when you're using a tablet this big, you usually hold it a pretty good distance away from you. So when it's that far away from you, you don't really notice the lack of detail that much. But the moment you bring it close to your face, you'll find the difference there. Viewing angles on this display were obviously good given that it is an IPS panel, but the brightness definitely needed some improvement. 
I could use this comfortably indoors or in the dark, but the moment I stepped outside under the sunlight, the brightness was lacking and it was quite difficult to read outdoors. The version of Lollipop on the 10B looks very close to stock, and in fact, I mean, really everything is just like stock Android, but the launcher itself is not the smoothest. The UI is fairly smooth, but the launcher is not smooth, so I definitely suggest you go onto the Play Store and download something like Nova Launcher or Apex Launcher just to get a better experience out of it. The main camera is a 5 megapixel BSI unit, and the front facing camera is a 2 megapixel BSI unit. Public Service Announcement this bad boy is a 10.1 inch tablet, so by no means should you ever go out in public and take pictures with it like this, just looking like a fool. Never do that. Ever. No. Please, for the love of all things great, don't. 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 Please. Since that's out of the way, let's talk about actual image quality itself. Now outdoors you take this, uh, take some pictures, you'll see the pictures look alright. Nice colors, nice details, but definitely don't zoom in, it's just too low resolution to actually get anything good if you're zooming in. But the moment you take this into low light situations, everything just goes noisy and out of this world and I mean, that's just expected. This is a 2 megapixel and 5 megapixel combination, you're not really gonna get anything special out of these. These cameras are made such that you can take photos of documents or other things that you might need to send to people for work or if you're just you know taking I don't know pictures of your cat yeah pictures of your cat that's what you'd use this for so don't really need that high camera quality here the Wallpad 10B costs 10,490 taka and this is Walton's most affordable 10 inch tablet now the tablet market and especially on Android is slowing down now so for the price this is really what's available the market isn't very competitive now while the specs may not be superb, and really an extra gigabyte of RAM would have done this review quite a lot better, I think that because this is aimed towards media and content consumption, that's not really too much of a drawback. Some strong points of this tablet are that mostly metal body, the support of USB OTG, the pretty long battery life, as well as obviously the large screen real estate. Some things where this laptop or where this tablet could have done better are definitely the screen brightness and the speaker. And again, I did talk about the one gigabyte of RAM that was, I mean, you could have just put two in there. Thanks for watching this review, guys. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you disliked it, well, I mean, do that. <sighs> Subscribe if you want to see some more awesome content coming in the near future and I Okay, spoiler alert some really cool content coming in the near future unique content Definitely subscribe if you want to see more of what we do. Thanks for watching. This has been Olivi and I will see you in the next one And it is Walton's budget la Bill. Delete all of these. Oh god, all of you. Budget 10 inch laptop, tablet, 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 not laptop, tablet. Shh, damn it.